hello hello today I'm coming before you under the unction of the Holy Spirit to do a teaching and I will be coming to you from the book of Numbers chapter 22 and I'll be starting from verse 22 um, before we get into the word I have to tell you about the book that God has ordained for me to write for his people for this time in this season in the earth and I encourage you to get the books the chrysalis and those of you who have been waiting on a word from the Lord and direction on the way forward and how you can best fulfill your purpose God has ordained for me to write that book for the kingdom for such a time as this to call you to bear arms and to get in the fight to win souls for Jesus Christ Jesus is soon to return and we have to get to work for his kingdom and for his glory in the earth. Amen. And so I will read to you from the book of Numbers 22, starting at verse 22. And as I read, I will give the impartation as God has given it to me. And God's anger was kindled because he went. Now this is talking about Balaam. Balaam was a prophet. He was not a prophet of God. He was a prophet for hire. And Balak had tried to enlist the services of Balaam to curse Israel. Because Balak knew that Israel was coming to destroy them and to take their property as God has promised that they would. And so Balak, uh, he was the king of the Moabites. And he wanted to hire Balaam a prophet for hire. And Balaam was on his way to go meet with Balak. And so this is where we begin. And I read, And God's anger was kindled because he went, talking about Balaam. And the angel of the Lord stood in the way for an adversary against him. Now he was riding upon his ass, and his two servants were with him. And the theme of my message, message today is, are you the ass that God can use? <laughs> Glory be to God. And you may pick up this entire teaching on my YouTube channel at Andrea S. Johnson Thompson. And I encourage you to, to do so. Amen. And the ass saw the angel of the Lord standing in the way and his sword drawn in his hand and the ass turned aside out of the way and went into the field and Balaam smote the ass to turn her back onto the road but the angel of the Lord stood in a path of the vineyards a wall being on this side and a wall on that side and when the ass saw the angel of the Lord again, she thrust herself into the wall and crushed Balaam's foot against the wall, and he hit her again. And the angel of the Lord went further and stood in a narrow place where there was no way to turn, either to the right hand or to the left. And when the ass saw the angel of the Lord again, she fell down under Balaam, and Balaam's anger was kindled, and he hit the ass with his stick. And the Lord opened the mouth of the ass, and she said unto Balaam, What have I done unto thee, that thou hast smitten me these three times? And Balaam said unto the ass, Because thou hast mocked me, I wish there were a sword in my hand, for surely now I would kill thee. And the ass said unto Balaam, Am not I thine ass, upon which thou hast ridden ever since I was thine unto this day? Was I ever not to do so unto thee? And he said, No. Then the Lord opened the eyes of Balaam. And he saw 
the angel of the Lord standing in the way, and his sword drawn in his hand. And he bowed down his head, oh God, and fell flat on his face. And the angel of the Lord said unto Balaam, Why have, have you hit your ass these three times? Behold, I went out to block you, because your way is wrong before me. And the ass saw me and turned from me these three times. Unless she had turned from me, surely now also I had slain thee and saved her, the ass, alive. And Balaam said unto the angel of the Lord, I have sinned, for I knew not that thou stood in the way to block me. Now therefore, if it displease thee that I go forward to, to go meet with Balak, this is what Balaam is saying to the angel. If it displease thee, I will get myself and go back. And this is the word the Lord has today. Who is the ass in your life that was trying to get you to see that God is speaking to you? Ooh. Who is the ass in your life that from the moment they were became a part of your life they were loyal unto you they loved you and they wanted you to walk the straight and narrow path that leads to eternal life with God the Father in heaven who is the ass in your life that you have mistreated that you have ignored that you didn't listen to when they were trying to get you to see that you were going down the wrong way. Oh, God of mercy. When we go back to the scripture, we see that the angel of the Lord blocked Balaam three times using the ass. The first time, the ass saw the angel of the Lord with his sword drawn. Very, very significant. The angel meant business. He didn't come to just talk to Balaam. He had his sword drawn. And we know that when your sword is drawn, it's not on your waist anymore. You have it in your hand and you are in the striking position. Oh, glory be to God. How many of us, the angel of the Lord is in the striking position against us because we're going the wrong way. But because of the ass in our lives, God has given us chance after chance after chance to recognize that someone, that he has ordained someone in your life, this ass in your life, to help you to understand that God is speaking to you and he wants you to stop, repent, turn away from your wicked, turn away from your sin and seek to please God. The first time the ass saw the angel in the way with his saw drawn, the ass came off the road and headed into the field. He had the good sense to know that hey there's an angel of the Lord before me yes I may be an ass yes I may be an ass but I have the sense to know an angel of the Lord with a sword drawn when I see him so that's the first time this ass in your life tried to get you to see that you were going in a direction you were going to do something that God was not pleased with that God did not want you to do the first time the ass saw the angel with his sword drawn, he turned off the road and took Balaam with him because Balaam was riding him. Who is it in your life? I ask you today, who is it in your life that you are riding, that you, you, you have the benefits of having this person in your life, but you don't see any real value in them? You don't listen to them. You don't take their wise counsel. You don't want to hear what they're saying about what you should and shouldn't do as it relates to pleasing God. And Balaam was so intent on going his way. When we read in uh, early in the in the chapter two, we see that Balaam went um, 
God told him the night before in a dream. He said, if they want you to go with them, still, you go. But I will tell you what to speak. They wanted Balaam to curse Israel. But God told Balaam, you can go the following morning. He said, I'll tell you what to speak. But God was angry with Balaam, even though he told Balaam he could go. He was still angry with, with Balaam for going because Balaam should have, have had the wisdom to know that you should not be going on any road to do any wickedness. Regardless if I tell you, you can go. I'm testing you to see if you have a heart to even go to do any wickedness, to devise any mischief against anyone. Glory be to God. And so when the ass turned off the road and went into the field to get away from this angel, and listen to me, I don't believe for one minute it was a small angel. This angel must have been huge. Some people may say, well, the size doesn't matter. I believe that this angel was huge and he had that sword and I believe it was a fiery sword because he was ready to cut Balaam to pieces. So we see the ass came off the road and headed into the field to escape the wrath of the angel. And what did Balaam do? Balaam hit the ass to turn her back onto the road. Stiff nakedness. Stiff nakedness. And so when Balaam tried to get the ass to go back onto the road, um, the ass intentionally ran into a wall and crushed Balaam's foot. This ass wasn't playing. This ass was trying to get Balaam to see this angel. The ass must have been saying, man, what is wrong with you? Can't you see this angel and this sword right in front of us? And so when he crushed Balaam's foot, Balaam was livid and he hit the ass again. And what did the angel do? The angel went a little bit further and stood in a narrow place where the ass could not turn to the left or to the right. What is God saying to you today? God will use that person in your life, that ass who's trying to get you to see that you are doing the wrong thing. And God will put you in a position using this person where you can't turn to the left or to the right. He wants you to face him. He wants you to stop the nonsense and stand and face him. He wants you to stand and face him. Okay? He wants you to stop. He's standing in the narrow way and he's using this ass in your life who you're not listening to, who you have set aside and who you have condemned and say, oh, I'm not going to listen to them. They've been talking this God talk for so many years. They've been telling me to live a righteous life for years. They've been telling me I should live a holy life unto God. They've been telling me I should be a good husband, a good father. They've been telling me that I should surrender it all to Christ and serve him. They've been telling me that God is calling me, but I don't want to listen. And when the ass saw the angel of the Lord this third time, she fell down with Balaam on top of her and she fell down flat on the road and refused to move and Balaam's anger was kindled even more and he hit the ass again what did God do then God opened the mouth of the ass and this is the only story in scripture where we get an account of an animal speaking and it's an animal that uh, people always associate with being a dumb animal. Look at God. Can God? Isn't this a wonderful example of how he takes the foolish things to confound the wise? He used an animal that people saw as a dumb animal to speak the words of a man. Glory be to God. The Lord opened the mouth of the ass. Hear me today. Who is the ass in your life? God has put his words in his mouth to speak to you, to get you, 
to see your folly, to see your sin, to speak out against the ungodly, the unrighteous things that you do. Who is the ass in your life that God has called to roar for righteousness and holiness to get you to serve God and to get you to see that God wants to use you in his divine plan in the earth today? Who is the ass in your life that God has called to to to, to usher souls into the kingdom of God? Who is the ass in your life that you've been riding, 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 and you will not, you will not, you will not stop to hear what this ass is saying to you. Let me be very clear. I will be the ass for God all my days. Men can call me whatever they want to call me. They can call me everything but a child of God. It does not matter. I will always be the ass for God. Glory be to God. And so the ass said unto Balaam, Why did you hit me these three times? What have I done to you? And Balaam said, Because you're mocking me. He said, I wish I had a sword in my hand and I would kill you for mocking me. And the ass said to him, If I may paraphrase, Why are you so stupid? Ever since I was your ass, from a foal, from a baby, did I not serve you? Have I ever done anything, anything like this before? I am trying to get you to open your eyes and see God. Glory be to God. I'm trying to get you to open your eyes and see God because if you don't, there is death right in front of you. The angel of the Lord is standing right in front of you. He is already, God has assigned him to you to kill you. If you don't stop and turn. And the ass said, after the ass, the ass probably couldn't believe it. That Balaam couldn't see this angel. Who is the ass in your life who can't believe that you can't see and hear God? After all this time, God has been showing you mercy after mercy after mercy. He's given you chance after chance after chance to get it together. To start to fulfill your purpose. The ass was amazed that Balaam, in this case, was the ass. Glory be to God. Then the Lord opened the eyes of Balaam. Look at the mercy of God. And I want to take this pause in this moment to speak to the ass who has been working for God to try to get someone to see God. God loves you. He loves you. He did not allow you to be a recipient of any judgment because of this foolish person that you've been trying to get to see God. God is using you. They may see you as an ass, but God is using you mightily and he is putting his words in your mouth to get the person in your life who you've been assigned to, to, to see God. God opened the eyes of Balaam and Balaam saw the angel of the Lord standing with this sword drawn and he bowed down his head and fell flat on his face and my Bible has on the side in humble worship my God I'm a very um, I have a vast imagination and I believe with all my heart Balaam must have soiled himself the Bible isn't going to have everything in it. All the details. Think about that for a moment. First you heard your ass speaking. And then you are incredulous that your ass is incredulous that you don't see the angel. And then you see the angel. God opens your eyes and you see the angel with a sword drawn ready to cut your head off. 
I believe Balaam soiled himself. But that's neither here nor there. I just wanted to bring it home to, so you could understand this is a very, very serious story here in the Bible. God loved Balaam. God loved Balaam. If he didn't love him, he would have directed the angels to cut him into pieces. Think about that for a moment. You, do you know how many times God has spared our lives? Do you know how many times God has showed us mercy? Do you know how many times he may have wanted to send the angel of death to us? But because he knows the end from the beginning and he knows that we have not yet fulfilled our purpose, he told the angel, no, I'm working with this one. And the angel of the Lord said unto Balaam, why did you hit your ass these three times? He said, it was I who caused your ass to do those things, to come off the road because you were going down the wrong road, to walk into the wall so you could smash your foot because you were still intent on getting back in the, on the road. And I made the ass sit down in fear because you were still intent on going down the road. So why did you hit him? Why did you judge the ass that's trying to save your life, Balaam? How dumb can you be? The angel was even upset with Balaam. And we all know that angels, angels don't have opinions. They don't give advice. They simply carry out their duties from the father. But this angel was angry that Balaam had struck this animal. And we all know how God feels about animals. If he didn't love animals, he would not have sent them two by two into the ark to be saved when he destroyed the, everyone in the earth but those eight souls, Noah, his wife, his, their three sons and three daughters-in-law. Come on, come on, people. So the angel was angry with Balaam. And the angel said, why did you strike, strike this ass three times? He said, it was I who was blocking the ass because you are going the wrong way. He said, and the ass saw me and turned to spare you, Balaam, and dare I say to spare your own life. The angel said to Balaam, if your ass didn't uh, turn from me those three times, I would have killed you, Balaam, but I would have spared the ass. Ooh. Hear me today, people. The ass in your life that you may ignore, uh, may be ignoring and mistreating and mocking and laughing at and putting a deaf ear to what they're saying to you, they're saving your life. God is using them to save your life. God is using them to pray for you. And I'd like to say in this moment, husbands, if that ass in your wife is a godly, uh, it is, if that ass in your life is a godly wife and you are mistreating her and have done the things that Balaam did to his ass, I've come by today under the unction of the Holy Spirit of God to warn you that ass is the reason God has spared your life. You don't have to take it from me. But I know that I'm hearing from God and God has given me this word today for you. I've come by today to warn you. Be careful how you treat the ass in your life who has always been loyal to you and faithful to you. Be careful. You may still be in the land of the living today because of that ass in your life. Balaam said to the angel of the Lord, I have sinned, for I did not know you stood in the way to stop me. Won't you hear this powerful word today? Won't you hear this powerful word today and turn and serve the Lord? Won't you be like Balaam today 
and ask God to open your eyes and the eyes of your understanding so that you can turn turn from sin and death and the world and turn to God and the abundant life and eternal life with him in heaven won't you do it today then Balaam repented and he repented by saying now therefore if me going forward to carry out my carnal plans displease you Lord I repent I will turn and I will go back glory be to God and then the angel of the Lord gave Balaam the instructions and he therefore went forward and did what God had ordained for him to do in blessing the people that Balak wanted him to curse the Israelites so God wants to use you and he will use every ass in your life to get you to fulfill your purpose his plan is always his plan is so intricate and detailed there's so many people involved in his plan in your life and you may be you would be amazed to know who that ass in is in your life can god oh yes he can i thank god for this message today and i pray that it would whew, be received by every person that God has ordained to hear it today. I pray that all you Balaams out there who is on the wrong road going to do things your own way and who have been ignoring the ass in your life whom God has given to you to help you and to help you to fulfill your purpose i pray that you would turn as balaam did i pray that your eyes would be open from this day forth and that you would see god and that you would seek to do his will in yeshua's name i pray amen